From the myth of Icarus to the Wright brothers, flying has always been one of the greatest desires of humans. From hot air balloons to airplanes to rockets, we have continued to test and break through our limits. And now, the iconic Iron Man suit that we thought could only be seen in superhero movies has become reality. Who's the man in the suit? It's Richard Browning, inventor of jet suits and founder of Gravity Industries. Formidable the human frame, the human body and mind can be if you put your mind to something. Look at what the, you know, the mind and body can achieve from a balance and a strength point of view. So, you know, it's a good example of that, but you're missing something, you're missing horsepower. Now you've had the uh, surprise already revealed out there, but this was the ground zero moment when I started playing with those engines. This was in March 2016. That is one of those little jet engines and it's putting out about 22 kilos of thrust and it only weighs about two kilos. So it's an amazing ratio. It does drink a lot of fuel. The fuel is sitting in a container inside that bucket at that stage. It was pretty basic, but that taught me a lot. It's just a push. It wasn't trying to rip my arm off. It wasn't trying to rotate my arm off. It's just like a holding a fire hose of water. So emboldened by that experiment, we went on to try this which is now, I'm now mobile and I've now got two engines and you can get an idea of the 50 kilos of push. And then in, in November 2016, so not very many months after starting with one engine, we managed to do this. Still fighting my leg, but it was a, a six second actual coherent little flight. So that was quite a watershed moment. That was the moment when it went from a ridiculous idea to something that actually was demonstrated, you know, demonstrably it actually worked. Now, I'm quite proud that despite this being, you know, something I did for fun, uh, it is actually a commercially successful venture. However, the road hasn't always been easy for Richard Browning. Even at serious risk of injury, he had to continuously challenge himself. What important lessons did he gain from this? We have a very clear ethos and it probably came from my oil trading days about taking risk. To do anything in life takes some risk, especially when it's new and especially when it looks as ludicrous as this. Our key rule though, from an innovation point of view, is take that risk, but analyze what is the worst that can happen? What is the downside of that happening? This is why I wasn't as high, you know, high as the top of the hotel today, for instance. Surf a bus as it goes past the event or something. Uh, reputationally, financially, but safety wise, if we can't get back up again from an experiment, we're being stupid because we can't keep that journey of exploring. So everything we do as far as possible, we cover the downside risk. If it means I've, you know, twisted an arm or something, then, you know, I'll get better. I'm going to show you all the outtakes, all the crashes, all the learning experiences. Well, let's really hope they don't go all juddery and stop. Um, but this is the last two and a half years. No one hurt themselves at any point, believe it or not. There you go. So a lot of these are actually pilot error. That was me falling off. That was me just, I didn't, I forgot I was still w flying at 20 miles an hour and I couldn't run at 20 miles an hour. This guy just worried when he saw the flag and let go of the throttle. <laughs> that was a compressor stall for those technology enthusiasts in the room. That was an engine failure. I knew it was coming, so I was really low. I'm not about to stand here and say that I'm going to revolutionize human mobility, but as a source of inspiration for showing what's possible, particularly with like mind, body and machine, I think it seems to inspire a lot of people. Uh, what's the point of a Formula One car? What's the point of a jet ski? Both of those are examples of things that only really exist for entertainment, and yet they leave a trail of inspirational discoveries and ideas. Even three years later into 2022, he continues his endeavors with recruiting jet suit pilots at Gravity Industries and facing new challenges every day. This was Richard Browning's 2019 lecture at World Knowledge Forum Replay, where we reshed light on in-depth lectures.